right now my plan is to replace the lid of this compartment over here which is we've kind of been using it as a bed we set up a cot next to it what I want to do is build a, a top to that cabinet that can actually extend out uh, from the cabinet itself and make a about a 40 to 42 inch wide bed uh, which is pretty much the minimal for both of us to be comfortable so my plan is to use some aluminum tubing uh, to be able to slide out. We'll see how it goes together. And it'll re actually replace this. This is the lid for the cabinet underneath. It'll replace that. We'll put a different cushion on top. It'll extend all the way across. It's about a 74 inch long cot bench there. Uh, we'll see how this goes. So what I've got is a piece of quarter inch underlayment plywood um, that I'm attaching these pieces of three quarter inch, actually this is one inch, uh, one sixteenth aluminum tubing. Basically just gluing those down with uh, construction adhesive and then coming in with these pieces of poplar that I cut down to one inch width and using tight bond and nailing those into place. So in theory, if everything works good, um, by the time I get the top installed, another piece of quarter inch underlayment plywood on top of this, I'll have a torsion box essentially that's about 22 inches wide, 74 inches long, and that'll be the basis for our bench. And then I've got some three quarter inch, uh, eighth inch thick square aluminum tubing that is in theory, if all this works out, is gonna slide into these areas. Slide out, that'll be our support for the other part of the bed. So afterwards, we should have about a 41, 42 inch um, bed frame. We'll see how this goes. Keep in touch. Okay, that actually went faster than I expected. Um, having the pieces already cut to size, uh, nailed the poplar down, the uh, aluminum tubing itself I just used a construction adhesive to glue it down, and then the uh, poplar spaces in between. So now I'm getting ready to put the top on the box. Uh, I have to mark out so I don't nail in the aluminum anywhere. Um, nail that down and it should be a fairly lightweight strong um, component when it's done. Alright, this was an experiment that actually worked. I was surprised. But in this 16th inch thick uh, one inch square aluminum tubing. I was able to set up a jig and with my router and just regular carbide bits uh, able to route a groove in the very end of what's going to be the the bench seat cover. I need to do a stop um, for when I'm pulling the uh, inside aluminum out. You'll see when it's done uh, but this is going to provide the place for the stop to go to slide in. Um, it worked well. I used a quarter inch bit uh, carbide tip bit in the router first, uh, did two or three passes, and then I used a 3 8 inch to get that groove cut through. We'll see how this goes. All right, this is the bench seat pretty much put together now. Um, I've got, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I've got the basic torsion box platform with the one inch, um, one sixteenth thick square tubing. This is a platform that's made of three quarter inch, in th uh, eighth inch thick, so it's a little stronger. That's riveted together, basically, so it all slides down into that torsion box. So now what I've done is I've routed out the ends, uh, the one inch thick. So I'm going to put a stop, um, so that this doesn't, when you go to pull this out, slide it out. It doesn't slide all the way out. And then that'll be the bench top. And in theory, this will expand out and give us room for the both of us to sleep on the mattress. Let's see how this goes. All right, I've got the old uh, bench seating top area removed. I just got to clean it up a little bit, and then I'm going to see about getting the other one installed. That's cool. All right, you want to see set it up in bed mode? Okay. Let's do it. All right, let's see if I can figure it out. So I got to pull the pins. Yeah, I'd go ahead and take the cushions off first. Okay. It'd be easier, because you have to flip the board over anyway. Right. And you don't have to pull the pins far enough to pull it out of the back. So you don't... There you go. <laughs> And then pull it out as far as it'll go. 
and then you swing the legs out until they lock in place. That's it. And that pulls out a little further. There you go, until that locks in place. Wow, looks comfortable. It does. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of clutter here sometime. Well, this works perfectly, baby. It's solid. Oh, that's solid. That's nice, it's huge. It's big enough for the two of us. All right. Oh, really? I think now I'm recording. All right, we'll try that again. All right, the, ma <laughs> the mattress works perfectly. It's comfortable. It's solid. It was easy to set up. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't show that because there's dog crap and all kinds of stuff in the background. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's put it back as a couch. <laughs> All right, here we are putting it back as a couch. Oh, no. You can do it. It's cool how your leg does that. <laughs> I guess here you are putting it back as a catch. The pin's in it already. Oh, it is? Yeah. So I don't actually know how it works. Pretty simple, yeah. Awesome, that worked well. That's it, cool. Whoops, the pin popped out. Oh, well, the pin popped out. There you go. I think those are slightly different width. I don't remember yeah. which. Yeah, I think that, that might be the narrow one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, back is a couch. Test it out. <laughs> is it comfortable? Support, so I'll have to get some pillows back there. All right. Back is the couch. <laughs>